John Bain's skin cancer threatened to take first his eye, then his life. Now, an immune therapy tailored to his genes has done the impossible. So the things kept growing and they kept removing them surgically. So the idea of having my tumors disappear without having to have surgery is uh, remarkable and a miracle. <laughs> Now, researchers are hoping to fight cancer by not only reading a patient's genetic information, but actually editing their genes using a technology called CRISPR. We can uh, go into a specific chromosome, to a specific spot, uh, to one of the millions of nucleotide molecules that make up that DNA, and we can change it. So the goal of this clinical trial is actually to come in and engineer our own T cells that have the receptors that target the cancer cell. Dr. Lawrence Fong is about to begin a clinical trial in which the patient's own T cells, which target cancer naturally, are genetically modified using CRISPR to be entirely unrestrained. Using CRISPR technology, we're trying to really um, engineer these T cells to be as potent as they possibly can so that we don't need to rely on the T cells within the patient to actually recognize the tumors. Of course, even the creators of this technology say that because it permanently changes our genes, it may carry terrible risks. In the end, this technology will be used for, for human genome engineering. Um, but I think that to do that without careful consideration and discussion of the risks and, and the, the potential complications would not be responsible. Dr. Fong admits that he and his team really have no idea what to expect when these modified cells enter the body. This trial will begin with patients receiving low doses of these cells, and we'll be monitor monitoring them very closely for any sort of side effects, because obviously this is um, going to be um, new and uncharted territory. Just now completed my uh, a year's worth of therapy, and I'll be taking a break, so... Uh, at this point, um, I have no detectable cancer, so, wow. which is great. Giving doctors access to his genes saved John Bain's life. It remains to be seen, however, whether the benefits of editing those genes outweighs the risks. Jacob Ward, Al Jazeera, San Francisco.